The government of St. Lucia has approved a one-year tax amnesty for taxpayers with existing liabilities. The amnesty period commenced May 1, 2022 and will end on April 30, 2023. Taxpayer Services Supervisor at the Inland Revenue Department, IRD, Lisa Goodman, said the department is encouraging taxpayers to take advantage of this opportunity. This program will allow taxpayers with liabilities for the period of 2000 to 2020 to get a 100% waiver on penalties and interest on all tax types, excepting PAYE, withholding tax, which would include contract tax and VAT. So all taxpayers, when, whether they have a liability in 2000, 2004, up to income year 2020, can take advantage of this amnesty program call in or come in, they will get an appointment with the collections officer where they will sit down with them and go through their accounts. The government has also announced the write-off of all income tax liabilities prior to income year 2000. So that would include interest, penalties and tax due prior to income year 2000. So as a result of this, taxpayers are getting the opportunity to begin again fresh with inland revenue on a clean slate. This amnesty program is one that allows taxpayers to settle their tax liabilities on a favorable basis. Therefore, taxpayers who have unfiled returns or existing tax liabilities are encouraged to participate. So for those persons with liabilities from income year 2000 to 2020, you, if you come in, if you come in, you will get a 100% waiver on penalties and interest, and you have one year to pay the tax amount that's outstanding. So we'd like to encourage all taxpayers to contact the Inland Revenue Department, whether it is in Soufre, Viewfort, or Castries, to take advantage of this amnesty program. For further information, the public is invited to come into the department or visit www.irdstlucia.gov.lc. Taxpayers who fail to take advantage of this amnesty will face a variety of enforcement actions, inclusive of penalties and interest associated with the amounts outstanding. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.